As you can see, we've arrived in Southie Hampton and the first stop's going to be breakfast. Oh yes. Then, well, just before we go to breakfast, we took a detour, decided to go into the British Heart Foundation, and they had some Blu-rays. In fact, this is the first time I've ever seen so many Blu-rays in a charity shop. I've seen them before, in one or two here and there, but I've never seen it to this amount. Somebody must have had a massive, massive sort out. So, <laughs> I was going to say something rude. Anyway, what we got then? Conan, Leon here for one ninety nine. Fantastic film, this one. What else we got then? Oh, just Shedlow's Unlock, Hurt Locker, Elysium, uh, God, God no, Street King, Mercury Rises, Cold Pursuit, The Rum Diaries, Carry On, Jack, 
I tell you, there was quite some titles in here. Daredevil. Most of them were one ninety nine, but there were a couple that were two ninety nine, as you just seen. And there was a couple a bit more expensive, three ninety nine at the front. But we did have some very good titles. I did see this one, uh, State of Grace. It was uh, marked up at five ninety nine. I asked the lady, that seems a bit steep when all the rest of up about a couple of quid, and she said, yes, it's been marked up wrong. You can have it for one ninety nine. So I did. I had it for $1.99 and then I decided to take it to CEX to trade it in for something that I found, which we'll see shortly. Anyway then, so after that we popped into as duh for a bit of the old brekkie. And it was very nice indeed, although that does look dodgy as fuck. Johnny be good. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> so while I was in Asda, we had a little quick look at the Blu-rays just to see if there's anything exciting in here. As you see the chart here, there's some good titles, but it's the same old stuff we see weekly, weekly out. I saw this one though, Magical Adventures of the Forbidden C or in the Forbidden City. It sounded quite interesting, but it's one of them seven pounds straight to DVD malarkey, so it's probably a big load of shite. Right then, so let's get on to the Marlin Shopping Centre where there's CEX, Disney Store, Poundland and One Below, which we'll go into shortly. But the first stop then, and it's a very long panned shot. Oh, hello. Don't walk into them, Jamie. <laughs> We're in CEX and CEX is, oh, that's right, the sex shop. And there's all the, the recent releases that they get and nothing much there, all DVDs or games. And we popped over to the Blu-rays and have a look to see what they got. Oh, look, one of the best films ever made. Um, well, maybe not. Anyway, Star Wars The Force Awakens 3D Edition in pretty damn good condition for £8. That's pretty good. And there's also this one here called Pigs. Not seen it. I have heard of it and looked at it, but I thought for 12 quid it's a bit of a gamble. K9, I really do like this movie. It's quite a long time since I've seen it. Old James Belushi about the dog and the, the policeman. It's very good copper no escape very underrated film this really recommend it and there's a donnie yen film here who's an absolute legend of course and then there's the fletch and finding neverland i like finding neverland i've never seen fletch though i must get onto it one day fright night is good friday the 13th also good scorpion collection here i've not seen these films very good condition and 25 quid not bad for a limited one Greece is the word, is that no, we're even on. Um, yeah, of course, who hasn't seen Greece? It's a great film, and I do like the VHS versions. Cujo recently got sent this by one of my subscribers, and uh, oh, and here's the James Bond box set. It's got about six, seven films, so it's not bad. For, yeah, six films, not bad for 10 quid. And this one took my eye, looked quite interesting. I've not seen it, but I thought it was quite expensive for 15 quid, called The Border with Jack Nicholson, so I will have to leave that for now. But they did have some very nice still books in today. They have the It and It Chapter 2 and Kong and uh, the, uh, the um, what's his name, Deadpool, <laughs> Hot Fuzz, um, Amityville Horror and Turtles again, Shazam. And now it's time to pop into One Below. And um, this is by far, holy fucking shit, one pound for a still book. Holy crap. And we saw some more titles in here, Grave Encounters and... Uh, so this one, The Negotiator, looks quite interesting. Roseman Pike's usually pretty damn good. Look at this gang-related two-pack in James Belushi. James Belushi again, who was in K9. This looks interesting. The Boxer, never seen this. And these are really damn good titles. Absolute bargains to be picking this up. Go, go, Power Rangers. What did I just say? <laughs> and, uh, well, we'll leave this one behind, I think. It looks rather, well, shit. Anyway, it's now time to pop into the Disney store. That's right, Katie's, one of Katie's favourite shops. And they have some nice bits and bobs in here today. Winnie the Pooh, books and stationery. There's Wally. I love Wally. One of my favourite Disney Pixar movies. Very underrated as well. Um, and we've got some Woody and Buzz there. And we've got uh, uh, some more Toy Story stuff. And there's some more mugs and cups and bottles and all oh, God knows what in this bloody shop. Katie's got this. I bought it for her as a, as a gift because, well, I'm a... I've tried to be a good husband. And we've got some Baby Yoda, the child from the Mandalorian stuff here, that teddy bear. We got the teddy bear recently. He's part of the family. And look at this, right? Tiny little figure. Look at it. It's absolutely tiny. £10 bloody 99! Fuck off, Nigel. That is far too expensive for a tiny little thing like that. Even though it is damn cute. And we've got some Nightmare on, Nightmare on Elm Street. I was going to say Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. 
there's Pinocchio with Figaro and uh, yes they do go to town in these shops they really do present it well oh look three peas in a pod yeah and then we've got a Dumbo mug here which is very sweet six pound thirty down reduced from like nine ten quid so that's pretty good they got Mrs Potts and Chip of course Katie does like her Beauty and the Beast as do I and there's some nice mugs in here as well face masks eh face bloody masks twenty pounds for four but they do have a very nice Baby Yoda one. That is very tempting. And I love this Pinocchio mug. I nearly, nearly picked it up. But I thought, well, I've got enough mugs, mugs as it is. Including my own. Right, into the local pawnbroker. I had a little look around in here. But it was pretty empty, to be honest. There's some titles in here. But you know, the Hostel still book. I only really like the first Hostel film out of all of them. The rest of them are a bit shocking, to be honest. But the first one's pretty good. Right then, where are we going to next? So we're going to have a look in the window, one of the uh, jewellers shop. I do like all these uh, Disney traditions, the wife collects them. But there is one that I actually want now, and that is Oogie Boogie. I fancy a bit of Oogie Boogie from, uh, <laughs> from, from again, Nightmare Before Christmas. Now we're going to Barnardos, and there's loads and loads and loads of DVDs, but um, sadly, no pickups from there today. Right then, into Poundland, 100 penny store. And we had a little look in here to see what they got. And they had a few Blu-ray sections. I was quite impressed at how many sections they had. They had this one here. But yes, you guessed it, the same old shit. Then we look at the second section. And yes, you guessed it, the same old shit. And then we look at the third section. And yes, you, can you see, a, can you see um, a routine coming here? Quite possibly, but they did have this one. Fast Times at Richmond High, 80s comedy classic. I have got this already. So this Hercules film is a big load of shite, but for £2 for 3D titles, pretty good. The Commuter is a good film. I really do like this film. It's cheesy as hell, but it's a bit of fun. They had some South Park DVDs in here, complete season six. They had one here called, uh, oh, 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 I'll put it back, Jimmy, you twat. Oh, that's it, the Demonic. And they had another uh, series of South Park, series 15. So yeah, but there's a few pickups today. You'll see a bit later what they are. Oh look, there's a the wife looking beautiful as always. And there's there's a picture of me. <laughs> and see, so yeah, you've got Christmas on one side and Halloween on the other side. So that's Christmas on one side. Yeah, this routine's getting old already, isn't it? <laughs> Can't you tell that the seasons are coming? Who's looking forward to the most? Halloween or Christmas? Comment down below which you're looking forward to most. Me? Probably Halloween. Right then, so we're now going to go to the British Red Cross charity shop to see the latest technology in home... Oh, look at that! <laughs> VHS. That's what They were the days. Pearl Arbor. That was a disaster. <laughs> Actually, it's not a bad film. And um, yeah, really good. Look at that bonus footage. Wow! Oh, look at this. Wow. One pound for the complete DVD season of Young Sheldon. Never released on Blu-ray. Not to my knowledge, anyway. But my bloody God, that was a bargain for a quid. Oh, that's a nice shot. Oh, look, there's a bus. How exciting, Jamie. Oh, look, there's another fucking bus. Oh, where are we going into now? That's right, Forbidden Planet. No, we're bloody lot. You know why? Because they're closed for lunch, the lazy bastards. So I'll have to come back after going in. You guess it. Fucking Primark. Oh, no, I'm really kidding. <laughs> the white, hello. <laughs> oh, it's a Halo Queen. Uh, yeah. Or oh, Creep It Real. Oh, my God. These ju these bloody quotes are as worse as mine. Oh, that's a nice jumper. Nice Marvel one there. And they've got, what's this down here? Oh, Stranger Things with a bloody nose. Fantastic. There she is. There's a beautiful wife looking around her favorite shop. And you know what? Actually, as much as I tease and joke, I actually don't mind looking around Primark. I quite enjoy it, but I don't tell people that. Look at that awful Stranger Things jumper. What the hell is that? I don't know. And we've got some trousers and Stranger Things slippers. And we've got some shorts and t-shirts. And you guessed it, Stranger Things is very popular these days. But I remember when it first came out, I loved it. And then it just blew up. I mind you expected it from the trailer. The trailer was awesome. Jurassic Park stuff here then. Very good indeed. And Jurassic Park pencil cases. Nice to see Jurassic Park stuff, not Jurassic World. And as much as I like the Jurassic World films, Jurassic Park is where it's at, especially the first one. I didn't mind the second one, but the third one we won't talk about. Anyway, more stranger bloody things. Oh, look, there's Iron Man. There's Spider-Man. Very nice. They've got a nice bottle here. Nice bottle. Bottle of beer. Uh, of, uh, <laughs> of Marvel stuff. 
And more bloody Marvel stuff. Look at this. Hulk and Captain America, Iron Man. Very nice indeed. Now it is time to pop into Forbidden Planet because they are now open. They finished their lunch, they're greedy bastards. So we're going to go and see what shit they got in here that we won't buy. Oh, that is a very cute Ewok. I do like uh, Wicket, the Ewok. I, the wife hasn't seen that, that one yet, Return of the Jedi. There's some more Baby Yoda stuff. Baby Yoda stuff is becoming very more often found in shops. My grammar today is terrible. Oh, well, never mind. Carry on. What we got here then? Drink time. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> and there we go. There's um, a nice box of uh, cases. And there's some mugs where you can hold your biscuit. Very nice. There's some retro Star Wars figures. Loads and loads of them here. The best one for me was the Chewbacca. <laughs> There he is. And there's old the child and the Mandalorian together, as they should be. Yes, and who remembers Dinosaurs, the TV series by Jim Henson? It was kind of crap, but I kind of liked it. Work that one out. Loads of pop finals, as always. Got some good ones in here. Batman and Commissioner Gordon by the Bat Sign. That's pretty cool. And got the It one. Always see this one. Demonic Pennywise and the Fun House. Quite tempted to pick that up, but it's too expensive for me at the moment. I mean, I look down here, some of the horror figures, some very good horror figures, in fact. NECA are fantastic. Trick or treat. I can't wait to see that again as soon as it's uh, Halloween very shortly. And look at these weird pins. Oh, Godzilla. That's right. That's the cutest Godzilla I think I've ever seen. But yes, these are really weird. These enamel pin type things from Funko Pop. Very strange. Never seen these before. Yeah. I didn't pick it up. <laughs> oh, look at this little fella. That's right, it's Leatherface, or from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre movies, like you didn't know. And uh, yeah, here's some He-Man, the Masters of the Universe. And um, a very, um, very retro and interesting set of figures here. I'm sounding awfully posh all of a sudden. Oh, look, Ninja Turtles. You know I love me some Ninja Turtles. And they are bloody awesome. And this looks like a nice t-shirt. Anybody play this game? It looks quite good from, from the picture anyway. <laughs> Might have to look into that. So then, into Menkind. And I do like this shot, but there's something in the window that's kind of appropriate for today. That's right, the pandemic. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, anyway, moving on. And so we looked inside and it has some very cool things in here. But the thing that caught my eye was this Wallace and Gromit, the penguin chicken bottle. Absolutely love this. I love the hat. I thought that, I was hoping that was going to be made out of rubber, but it's actually rock hard. But never mind. That's a really nice bottle, but it's quite expensive. So I left it. And it has some very large chucky uh, pop vinyl at the top there. And loads of poppy vinyls as always. They always have pop vinyls everywhere these days. You, can, you run over the bastards. What else do they have? They have this very nice It figure with the Gremlins figure and the Aliens figure and the Chucky figure and the Annabelle figure. And they had lots of It shit, including this very nice uh, lamp there. Very nice lamp. That I do like that. And there's some figures here, now reduced. Bloody typical. But look at this lamp. I absolutely love this lamp. I love lamp. And uh, <laughs> yeah, very nice indeed. shopping done in Southampton. Let's go home and uh, let's see what we bought today. Quite a bit. <laughs> I'll see you when I get home. Well, anyway. Yeah. 
And we're home people, hooray! And it's been an epic day. And this is by far the most I've ever picked up ever on a single trip. So this is awesome. <laughs> My poor bank balance. So, as you've seen, we've been to Southampton. We had a look around all the shops. Poundland, Primark, CEX, Forbidden Planet, even Ikea. Who'd have thought it? So, <laughs> we're home now and uh, we've been out for quite some time. We left back just uh, before 10 o'clock and we've got home just after 6. So, it's been quite a long day. But what was my pickups for today? Well, let's begin. <laughs> um, I bought a film from a charity shop earlier and uh, I wasn't interested in it so I traded it in because I knew it was worth more than what it was. Um, I got it for £6 voucher so I got this for for uh, £1.99 basically and this is K9 with James Belushi. I absolutely love this movie and I haven't seen it for a very long time. I used to watch it when I was younger and um, yeah I was been looking to get it on Blu-ray but it's always been a little bit pricey and I saw it in there for £6 had a six pound voucher, so made sense to me. So K9, great film, great film. We went to a charity shop, we went quite a few charity shops, um, but in one of them we found this brand new sealed season one DVD of young Sheldon based on the uh, Big Bang Theory character, Sheldon, obviously. And I remember seeing the trailer and it looked really good. Um, I, didn't, I have not seen a single episode, but I wanted to watch it. I want to saw this in there for a pound for a complete series. How many episodes is it? It was 437 minutes long. Um, does it say how many episodes? Does it say? No. <laughs> it doesn't say how many episodes, but um, there we go. So that's Young Sheldon. Very glad to have that in the collection. Went into Poundland and it was a bit of a bust today. Um, there wasn't really many Blu-rays in there at all today. It was the same old shit. But they had a shitload of horror movies and films that I've been wanting to get on DVD. And I've been looking everywhere for a couple of these titles. One in particular, I nearly shat my pants. So uh, we'll get straight into it. Uh, the first one I picked up was a film called Eleven Blocks. It looks a bit like um, uh, The Purge Anarchy, the second film. And, uh, but I'm, I wanted to give it a go, and it's only a pound. I was gonna buy this when it first came out for about seven quid, so it's one of those seven pound films. I'm very happy to pay a pound to watch it, rather than seven. Another one of those seven pound films, a film called Hacked. It's one of those camera jobbies, a bit like um, Unfriended sort of thing. Um, but this is a pound and it's meant to be really good, so pick that one up. Uh, this one is quite an old film. I have seen this. Uh, it's called Emily, but I've not seen it for a while and I wanted to give it another go. Um, I remember thinking it was good, but it was a bit slow. But I want to give it another one and for a quid, I'm very happy to pick that one up. That's a bargain. That's usually around the £7 mark. Um, another one in there we saw was Demonic. Now, this is produced by James Wan, the director of The Conjuring Saw in Big Portie's favourite, the Insidious films. And... Um, yeah, this looks like another camera cord, camera film thingy, um, but I want to give it another go. It looks good. I've not seen it, so why not? That's demonic. What else we get in there? Another one, one of those sort of cheapy, nasty. But the story sounded okay. Um, 18 certificate. It's a British one, I think. And it's called You on You and Not Alone. Uh, no. And so, yeah, this is a horror film. Obviously, um, I don't know any of the cast or any of the directors, but I'll give it a go for a quid. Obviously, horror, it's its going to happen now in Poundland because it's Halloween next month. So, um, got this one. Uh, not seen or heard of it. It's got the very nice eyes of Fisher in it. And, yeah, it looks all right. <laughs> It looks all right. It's probably a load of shite, but for a quid, I'm I'm happy to give these a go for a pound. So now this is a film. There was a, one film I just mentioned that I've been trying to find. Now the Blu-ray import is quite expensive. It's about twenty quid, and I have come this close to ordering the trilogy box set, but I've been putting it off because I haven't seen it, and I don't tend to risk a lot of money on something I haven't seen unless you know I really truly really love it. But I saw the DVD of it. Now it's probably been out before, but I've never seen it in the shops. It's a film called It's Alive, and it's about an evil baby. <laughs> um, but apparently it's very good, and I really wanted to see this. I've been wanting to see this for a while, 
and it was either £20 for Blu-ray or £1 for the DVD. I thought, well, because I haven't seen it, it makes sense to get it and watch it. And if I love it, then I'll get the Trilogy box set. If I don't love it, I've not wasted 20 quid. So there we go. That's It's Alive. Very, very, very happy to have that in the collection. So the final part of this haul is uh, from a shop called One Below. And my God, they are topping Poundland for Blu-rays. You have to hunt for them and it's really badly hidden. But if you know where to look, there are some bloody gems I picked up today. I can't express that enough. If you've got one of these shops, go in and look on the bottom shelf at the bottom. I found one particular in there that took my, I was, my jaw dropped. I could not believe that that was in there for a quid, brand new sealed. And I'll show you that right at the end of this bunch that I picked up. First one I picked up is Grave Encounters 2. I have got, or have seen the first one. I don't think I've seen the second one. So very happy to pick that up. The first one is pretty good. I liked it. It's about, it's a bit like a most haunted sort of thing, but it's done like candid camera where um, they go to film like they go to find ghosts in a hidden, in a, in a haunted like prison or hospital or something. And this is like the follow up to that. So interesting to see what that one's like. Another film I saw in there called The Negotiator with John Hamm and Rosamund Pike. I'm, I do like Rosamund Pike. I think she's a very good actress. Uh, I've not heard of this one. Um, it looked quite good. And for a pound, you know, these Blu-rays are a pound. I remember those days at Poundland. <laughs> It wasn't that far away, but um, yeah, I wanted to pick this one up. It sounded quite good. And for a quid, I mean, if it's a load of rubbish, it's only a pound. Now, this was this was a bit of a shock to see this one and another one of these that are in there. Uh, this is a film with James Belushi and James L. Jones and Tupac. And it's called Gang Related. And this is part of the cult movie collection. These go for quite about, about eight to ten quid usually. And it was in there for a bloody pound. I couldn't believe it. All these films are pound, as you can see. I was shocked, absolutely shocked to see this in there. It's a quality, quality looking film. It's done on a good budget and it's got a great cast. So yes, I am. And they had quite a few of these copies of these actually, but I only need one. So <laughs> very glad to have that. Another one picked up and I don't know why, because I've already got it, but I might, I've got the 4K of it. So I might trade that in. And because this was a pound, Power Rangers. This is the most recent uh, Power Rangers movie. It's very good. It's very good. Don't, you know, I bought the original uh, not too long ago. But I wanted to get this one in standard and just probably sell the 4K because I'm never going to use it. I'm never going to buy 4K. It's um, just a waste of money for me. But very happy to have this. So, and the 4K of this is meant to be like the best Blu-ray 4K on the planet. So hopefully I'll sell it for more than a pound at least, I would have thought. So there we go then. Replacement. And this is a good film. I do recommend it. And for a pound. Shit the bed. Another one I was really surprised to see in there. Um, it's a film by 101, uh, yeah, 101 Films, Daniel Day Lewis. And who's the girl in it? Emily Watson. I love Emily Watson. She's one of my favourite actresses. Uh, it's a film called The Boxer. Now I've not seen this. But I have heard good, film, uh, good things. There was about three copies of this as well. It was, I was so shocked to see them in there. I really was because these are not the sort of films you usually find in Poundland, let alone in a, in a pound shop, official pound shop, <laughs> one below. I mean, I, I was shocked, absolutely shocked and thrilled because I have been eyeing this one up. I suppose you could probably get it for about six quid at the moment, they're on offer at the moment, but usually they're in between the five and 10 pound mark, but for a pound. Now, the final pickup, and this was also in the same shop, and I saw this on, on, the, on the top of the pile, and my eyes were drawn to it straight away. There was a guy looking, and I thought, oh no, he's gonna pick it up. So I leant down, and I picked up to look at it, and I said to him, is this, are you getting this? He went, no, mate. So, thank God, because this is a find. This is a real find. Um, now, when I first saw the film, I wasn't a great big fan of it, but I wanna give it another go. And I saw this for a quid, and the cast, I mean, you've got Colin Firth, Tom Hardy, John Hurt, Toby Jones, Mark Strong, Benedict Cumberbatch, and somebody else. I can't pronounce his name. Kean Han Hins. And this is, of course, the most famously sung Gary Oldman. And I'm just going to show you. This is the still book, limited edition of Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy. I could not believe my eyes that I saw this in there for a pound. I couldn't believe it. And 
I nabbed it quicker than you can say. Lemony Snicket series of unfortunate events series one. This is unbelievable. To find this in a for a quid, brand spanking new. This would have been about 20 quid at least when it first came out, I would have thought. So whew. and as soon as I spot the wife said, Oh, I want that. So I said, okay, well we're both having it, so we're sharing it. So <laughs> But for a pound. That is a find. That is the find of the day. I'm so thrilled to have that. So, yeah. Oh, there's, oh, there's one more. I've forgotten about. <laughs> it doesn't stop. Uh, well, it does. It, this is the last one. Now, this is a sequel to a film. Um, there's a DVD, so don't get your hopes up. Uh, it's a sequel to a film that I love. I love the first film, and I've been interested to see the second one, despite the fact it stars Dolph Lundgren. Not the original star, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Huh. And that is Kindergarten Cop 2. Now, this could be the biggest load of shite, or it could be all right. I'm hoping to all right rather than shite. All right? So, <laughs> so, oh, sorry, Lauren, I do laugh at my own jokes. It's not good, is it? So, there we go then. Kindergarten Cop 2. Pick this up for one pound. I'm really pleased to pick this up. I want to see it. I've been itching to see it, so. There we go. And that, my friends, is the end of the vlog. And it's been a fantastic day. I, oh, It's been great. Really nice to get away from Bournemouth, have some time with the wife, do a bit of shopping. So, yeah, it's been a great day. And that's the end of the vlog. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. And uh, stay safe. Play safe. I'm tired. I'm going to go to bed. Well, not yet. <laughs> I'm going to go. See you later, everybody. Take care. Bye for now. Oh, I need a fucking cup of tea. Sit down and a bloody biscuit. <laughs> Please like, share and subscribe to Jamie's channel. <laughs> like it, you will. <laughs>